I found this keyboard this online for sale the other day for $20. It's a Yamaha PC-1000. It was marketed at the time as a toy or a learning device for a young person or anyone that wanted to learn how to play a keyboard. It came out before the DX7 in 1983. It sounds like it may be FM, but I'm unsure of exactly how the synthesis is happening. I'm pretty sure that it's PCM drums, which is pretty remarkable for the time because memory was quite expensive. It's a multi-timbral instrument with a full-on percussion section with 16 different rhythm patterns, two clap patterns to add on top, and five fill variations per pattern. It has an orchestral voice section, which is polyphonic. There's 12 preset timbres and a sustain control. There's a bass slash chord arpeggiator section with two variations per rhythm pattern. Um, and it has a hold function, which they call memory. There's also a second arp section with two variations per rhythm pattern as well. The bass and the arpeggiator are both one voice. You can't change the, the timbre of the voice. And there's a solo section, which is monophonic and there's 12 timbres. Um, there's a sustained a control for that as well, and every section has an independent volume. There are many different Portasound models. Visit your Yamaha Portasound dealer for a fun demonstration. That's a pretty basic synthesizer in modern standards, but there's enough control to actually put some expression into your playing, and I think down the road I'm going to open it up and do some circuit bending because, hey, it was $20. And if I can get a song out of it, and maybe I don't blow it up trying to do some modifications down the road, I'll be a happy camper. Anyway, let's plug it in, put it through some reverb, and see if we can get a song. <laughs> 